Hi everyone and welcome to Usatility. Today we are going to discover how to launch and play Marvel Future Fight on PC, now you can display it on screen. It takes almost no time to easily download and install Marvel Future Fights so that we can enjoy playing the game on our Windows PC with keyboard, mouse and large monitor. So without further ado, let's go. Before anything else folks, the first thing to do is to open our favorite browser. We open the one we prefer. Let's continue, going to the next URL I'm highlighting in green. There you are seeing it on the PC screen. You don't need to type anything, simply because I added a link in the video description and as well in the first pinned comment. We arrived here on our own site of Usatility, where we get a precise demonstration on how you can download and install Marvel Future Fight on computer. We browse down a tad and mouse click on the download game on PC button. After clicking on the link, we arrive here on the website of LD Player, which the Android emulator that we will launch to play Marvel Future Fight on the PC. As you can see here we get several advantages of using the emulator, custom controls, multiple instances, instant synchronization, macros, scripts, high FPS, etc. Then, we will start downloading the Marvel Future Fight by clicking on the button download Marvel Future Fight on PC that you can see here in green. Next step is clicking on it. Of course, the download takes no time at all. Here it is, this is the download. It is an executable file. What we have to do is to run the installer, so we have to click on the file. Windows 10 users will be asked for permission to make modifications to the device. We said yes. I reduce the browser to start to see the installer much better. The installation software is very simple to use. It is made up of a couple of possibilities, install and setup path. I am going to clarify what setup path does indeed. We just simply click on it. Therefore we see that we display here the path where the emulator can be installed. If we need to vary this directory we need to click on the browse option, so we select another directory and install the emulator precisely where we choose. To keep it simple, just leave it by default. I click on back. Therefore, I click on install. At this moment, before starting setting up this emulator, will also be possible that it's going to show us a number of application packages to set up on our PC. Because I do not wish to have any of these software, I simply press each time on the reject button. Fantastic. The installation commences and it is going to carry on with the download of these MB that happens to be shown on that screen. The time you download it, it is likely to be a little more or less megabytes. The download speed will go faster or slower, based on your internet and depending on the efficiency of the emulator web servers. Right now they are going quite fast. The download is completed, and straight away it continues on with the setup phase. The installation will need more or less time according to the power of your machine, the more robust it's actually, the shorter the installation time and vice versa. If we put together the download and installation phase it may take quite a long time, so show patience. It has now ended for me. At this time, the emulator has been started successfully. As you can see now, down here, we have a progress bar which will advance to the right so when it actually reaches the ending, the emulator is going to be launched for the first time. Indeed, the emulator has already been started, there for the very first time. And as a result LD Store is automatically started, which is actually a kind of Google Play. This isn't the best solution to set up the game, and so I don't recommend it considering that frequently the LD Store installs an outdated version of the game. Let me demonstrate to you how to install the game utilizing the Google Play I recommend you to do it this way. First of all, we must begin doing is to visit desktop by hitting this software icon that I am pointing out in green. Before we keep going, as you can discover, it created a couple of app icons here on the PC desktop. The LD Player and LD Multiplayer. Note that the LD Player software icon will be the only one we are interested in. At any time when we desire to operate Marvel Future Fight on our PC, we twice mouse click on this icon and as a result launch the emulator. The LD Multiplayer app icon has nothing to do with multiplayer or anything at all such as that. The fact is, it is an icon that we would very likely never utilize. Let me do the next phase, which is actually a must-have, and that is to entry the Google Play Store. To execute this we will go here to System Apps, we click, and we'll click on Play Store. As you can view the Google Play is launched. In this case we have got to sign in. Presently when we're here, we are required to begin doing the next phase that is definitely obligatory. So we mouse click on, sign in. At present it says, checking info. It might once in a while get stopped at, checking info, and it doesn't progress. 
In this case, you can attempt to log in in after a few hours but it will surely most likely be sorted out. At present we are going to type our email and password. The email needs to be a Gmail email and its related password. For example you can utilize the same exact email you're using right now in your YouTube account. So that I am going to enter my information and I will come back after I have done it. That's all, data typed. Find out Google welcoming us and offering us the twos. We must agree to them all simply by clicking on, I agree. Then, it offers us to back up to the Google Cloud. You can leave it selected and it'll produce a backup of your files on this device to Google Drive. I will not check it, you do what you want. We simply click on accept. From now Google Play is launched as preferred choice and instantly. In case that the Google Play is not launched instantly and you don't know how to start it by hand, I assist you how to do it now. Firstly is to proceed to the emulator desktop by hitting this software icon marked in green. So now we go to the system apps folder. And we click the Play Store icon. OK, we're right inside Google Play. What we will accomplish right now is go here to search for apps and games. And then we are going to research Marvel Future Fight. Now there we have it. We are going to select the first result. At this point we have the Android game. Let's mouse click here on the install option that I am just displaying now in green. This will start the software setup. Now it should download on your desktop or laptop and set up the video game. It usually takes a while or perhaps it may possibly be extremely fast. It all will depend on on the internet connection. It has actually finished installing. Back to the emulator desktop by clicking on the following option I'm highlighting in green to be able to start Marvel Future Fight for the very first time. You are already on the emulator desktop and then we are going to simply click on that fresh Marvel Future Fight software icon that's been provided. Your game is started for the very first time. There we have it. I could mouse click anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I have to comment on the sound level of that emulator. It's here. We have the icon of higher volume as well as the icon of lower volume. This way we won't depend on the Microsoft Windows volume to increase or decrease the sound experience of the emulator. As well as to enjoy the experience to the greatest, we can turn on the large monitor, for which we have two alternatives. That is the very first one. We then click on that app icon that I'm identifying in green. Then the screen is maximized, enjoying one border at the top, one on the right side and one at the bottom. In case that we desire to play the application in full screen, we click this particular app icon. And we might without a doubt be experiencing the gameplay in full screen mode. To get out of the complete screen functionality, push the F11 key. And we might just play in regular screen mode. From now, I am going to explain you the computer keys mapping and that is extremely exciting. This means we will be ready to operate the video game more easily. The very first task is to click on this keyboard icon. And at this time there you will be able to complete the recommended setups. I am going to keep the standard configuration, though if you plan to modify it, you may well do so without any problem. I have this opportunity to say that in certain cases, when starting the video game a dark screen shows up, if that is so and you experience the black display and the emulator does not start, I propose a possible solution. We should go here, to the cogwheel. In your emulator options, in the advanced selection we have now quite a lot of resolutions. This is the resolution we have previously decided to go with automatically and we must choose any of these other resolutions, for instance that one down below. We opt for it and click on save. It will ask us to reboot this emulator and immediately after restart it, most probably the emulator will launch and your black screen will be completely removed. Obviously, the emulator is completely in our own language. In certain cases it happens that the emulator is started in the incorrect language, as an example, in Chinese. And so to set it in the appropriate language we go here to the cogwheel. And thus here throughout many other configuration settings, we just click the language drop down. We can pick the language we prefer, Spanish, Mandarin, and so forth. When the language is chosen, we are going to save, the emulator will restart, and the game, next time we launch it, will also be in the selected language. So now, there is another point that we have to take into account, and it is that we will get an email indicating that a brand new device has been connected with our own Google account. It should check with us if we are the ones who have associated with that device. Yes, we shouldn't worry, simply because the emulator is emulating in Google Android electronic device. And in order to see which tablet or smartphone is being emulated, we arrive right here, to the cogwheel and we simply click on it. So we go here to the, model, selection. And now we observe that the emulator is emulating a Samsung mobile phone. 
And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. This is it folks, so much for my video user demo. I hope that you appreciated it, especially that you thought it was helpful. If that is so, offer it a good thumb up, subscribe, and I will be happy to answer your feedback, questions or suggestions, let them in the comment area below. You can also leave a comment on my Twitch channel, I do live streams occasionally, you have it listed below in the video description and in the initial pinned comment. Simply click on any of the video tutorials that are showing up on the computer screen and let's have fun again in the following online videos. Bye.